to miss First Take tomorrow, we will have an exclusive sit-down with Hugh Jackson here in studio. We'll ask him about what went wrong in Cleveland, Baker's future, and other hot NFL topics. That's tomorrow right here on First Take. For Sports Center right now, I'm Victoria Arlen. One day after DJ Durkin was reinstated as Maryland's head football coach, the university's president fired him. College football reporter Heather Dinich explains why. A wave of backlash here in this state was simply too much for university president Wallace Lowe to overcome. We're talking about politics, state and local level, all the way up to Congress in Washington, D.C. Governor Larry Hogan weighed in, voicing strong objections to D.J. Durkin returning. And then Wallace Lowe had to look on his own campus where he met with deans, department chairs, academics who had to deal with a decision that was made that essentially put football ahead of higher education. And in the end, that was too much for him to overcome. He made the decision on his own and reverse course. I spoke with a source this morning within the program, actually, who told me that they feel like a weight has been taken off their chest. They are collectively relieved, and that's from all players, whether they supported DJ or they didn't. Um, I think that there's a sense that they are ready to move on, and they are ready to start talking about Michigan State. Following two separate investigations into the June death of football player Jordan McNair, Maryland's Board of Regents recommended keeping Durkin as head coach, saying he was not totally responsible for McNair's death. Now we'll toss it back to first take. Not totally responsible, key word there. University President Wallace D. Lowe, if you're just joining us, fired DJ Durkin one day after the Board of Regents recommended keeping him as head coach. Will Kane here with us. Good to Good have morning. you. Good morning. Stephen A., what's your reaction to all this? Um, it should, it, he should have never been reinstated. They should have moved on. They should have never brought him back. There shouldn't have been what transpired the last 24 hours uh, as it pertains to people you know, volunteering back and forth. Some people thinking he should have stayed, other people who's uh, looking for him to leave. The reality of the situation is clear. A kid died. Uh, he's not, he didn't kill the kid. He didn't kill Jordan McNair, okay? And nobody's proclaiming that. But uh, he has been accused of negligence of duty. Uh, the culture, the environment was considered toxic. You had some of the players who wanted him gone as a result of that. The president wanted him gone and the Board of Regents not only refused to do so, but basically threatened the president's job to my understanding that if he didn't make the call, they would, they would let him go. And so when you have all of that going on and the public outcry, it being what it is, uh, the reality of the situation is you combine that with the fact that you're six and seven one year, you're four and eight, another year, you're five and three without him. You're literally asking yourself, this coach is getting paid two million five hundred and twelve thousand dollars. You got a Big Ten television contract and everything else to consider with the bad publicity and everything else. What the hell is the problem? What's the debate about? The reality is, is that he should have never been brought back. But I don't blame him for fighting if somebody is saying. You're responsible for my child being gone. That's something you fight. But if you're saying you should have acted more expeditiously. You should have done things. You should have been more thorough in terms of in, in terms of negligent. It's hard to argue against that. And so sometimes you just got to cut your losses and say, for the, in the best interest of the program, I don't need to be here. And I'm sorry he didn't do that. He had to be forced out. I don't know what the Board of Regents was thinking in the first place. Yeah, that's what I'm I don't understand the recommendations because this cannot be framed as, well, a brave stance by the university to not scapegoat someone when it's politically convenient. That's not what was going on here. In fact, the question that jumped to my mind when I saw the recommendation is, wait a minute. If he was a great football coach, we understand how people bend over backwards because, after all, that's what people care about in the sports world. And, and these universities are a part of the sports world. They care about their programs. And if you have a great winning coach, boy, a lot of rationalizations are made for behavior. But that's not what this was. His methods were dubious at best. They weren't producing the results that were desired, right? So what, do, do they need money? Are they afraid they can't fire him with cause and they can't recoup that money? And in fact, some of the reporting, yeah, they, the athletic department's in some financial straits. That's the only thing that makes sense to me here. Because the bottom line is this, as a result of your methods and lack of preparedness for, poten for potential consequences, you know, a guy gets heat stroke, you gotta treat him. As a result of that, 
There's a dead student athlete. Jordan McNair lost his life. His father said the regent's recommendation felt like he was spitting. It was like a sp spitting punch in, in his, the stomach. Punch or spitting in his face. I thought he said. Oh, punch it in the stomach. Also, maybe. Anyway, the well. point is that when when when. That, look, whatever, and the reporting about the culture is not good. But even if you want to say it's not a toxic culture, there's the death of a student athlete, and who is, where does the buck stop on the field? It has to stop with the head coach. Of, I don't understand the recommendation, and about face, getting rid of the head coach was the right thing to do. I don't like the why. <clears throat> I don't like why DJ Durkin was fired, because he was fired because of public outcry and public pressure. I care about things on whether or not they are right or wrong. Please give me just a little bit of runway to lay this out. I don't do these things because I want to be contrarian, because I'm attention-seeking. But, Max, I do these things because I come back to the question that you asked, and I don't find a satisfactory answer. Why would the Board of Regents been so dedicated to keeping D.J. Durkin just 24 hours ago? I mean, they could have known the public outcry was coming, right? They should have seen that this would be the case. So why would they walk into that valley of the shadow of death? Please excuse the phrase. Why would they do that? And the only answer I can come up with, Max, is because they believe DJ Durkin wasn't responsible and that he was being scapegoated. Now listen for a moment here. The report, and we, the three of us, when you were out last week, Molly, reported on this. The report suggested DJ Durkin was not directly responsible for Jordan McNair's death. He was not in charge of a toxic program. In fact, the report said it wasn't a toxic program. Now it found some things like a uh, um, bullying and a culture where students weren't capable of speaking out against authority. And you said at the yep. time, I remember you saying last right. week, what program doesn't check those Absolutely, boxes? I did say that. So I sit here and I wonder, clearly Maryland made mistakes. It's not about mistakes weren't being made. The athletic training staff took too long, 90 minutes, didn't cool Jordan McNair down. A tragedy incurred. Who is to be held responsible? Who is to blame? In the beginning, Maryland said, not DJ Durkin. We will not scapegoat him. They took a pretty hard stand. I don't know if it was brave, Max, but they had to know it was against public pressure. And 24 hours later, because of massive public pressure from students and administrators and faculty and politicians, as you heard Heather Dinch say, he is fired. I don't like the why. Go with right but or my wrong. My question is don't why, go Will. With Hold on a second. Wins. My, my question is look, first of all, the only conclusion I could come to that made any sense was they didn't think they could fire him with cause as a result of the report, whatever else investigating they did. And they, we need the money. We're strapped. Can you I can't just afford address it. that really quickly, Max? Yeah, go ahead. It's the University of Maryland. It's a public university. They can afford to fire DJ. Well, Durkin. then the question I, I ask you when you money. say you don't like the why is you, I, our, as is frequently the case, our analysis is similar. Our conclusions are different. The why is unsatisfactory here. Why did they do an about face? You, they had to know that there was enormous blowback coming from the media, politically, yeah. on campus. Were they not prepared for it? Uh, well, that speaks to incompetence. Uh, and I would suggest no, 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 that bringing no, 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 no. them back is incompetent no, 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 no. in the first no, place. No, no, Max, I disagree with you. I don't think it speaks to incompetence. I think it speaks to personal relationships usurping what you should have done, which what may have been the right thing to do to begin with. And, Will, I'll come to you by saying what I just said to Max. I'll come to you with this. You asked the question. You talk about how you don't like the why. You talk about how the Board of Regents drew this conclusion. That wasn't the president's conclusion. The president wanted right. to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. The right. Board of Regents not only said no, but we're threatening your job. The president of the university had access to the same information the Board of Regents had access to. So why would you ask the question about the Board of Regents? Because they but, came to a conclusion that we were all surprised about 24 hours well, ago. And I feel like it's my duty to go, no, why no, no, would they come to no, that no, I'm not conclusion? Atta I'm not attacking right? your well, point. I'm not attacking your point. I'm asking a question. What I'm saying to you is this. The president has access to, listen to where I'm coming, the president has access to the same information. Right. The president came to the conclusion, this man has to go. He did. So to me, the bigger question is, why would the Board of Regents feel the need to go against the president? He oversees. I have to at least consider that they believed their own investigative report, that they believed D.J. Durkin was not responsible. Or, Can I, I know you want to ask me a question. I, I, yeah. uh, sure. I want to make one more point. Yeah. Sure. You both sure. made this, and I think it's a very valid point, and one I fall back on. I understand authority. I understand where the buck stops. Yeah. You, in the end, were in charge of a program where a young 19-year-old man died. 
That's simple and that's clean, but it is not a standard that we uphold universally. Was Dennis yes, Green held responsible when Corey Stringer died in 2001? Dennis Green was the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings, and Corey Stringer died of heat stroke. Nobody said fire Dennis Green. Well, 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 well wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Ryan, okay, had, I got another he, one for you. But when he Ryan, had the heat stroke, they didn't walk, make him finish the drill and walk him around and wait until like 90 minutes. I have to, to rely. Hey, I have to rely that's on the investigative report. report. Okay. I have to rely on the report, okay. Stephen. Why? None of the other reporting is significant. Hold on, real quick. Was Brian Kelly? Did anybody want to fire Brian Kelly after the student athlete, not the student athlete, but the student uh, f- videographer that fell off of the scaffolding just a few years ago at Notre Dame and died? He was my, in charge of that program. Will, my question for you did. is, why, I, think, I, I, don't I don't agree that example, Stan. That's not a good example, Will. Yeah. Hold, no, 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 hold, hold, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. That's a little bit off track. My question for you is, I agree, you're not doing this just to be contrary. I think that there's something that doesn't sit right with you. Clearly. Because, because if you have principles, you say, wait a minute, you made a decision, and then you buckled in the face of pressure. My right. question is not only, well, they had to know the pressure was coming, so what is this really about? But also, why is it that you are so strong on relying on the, what the Board of Regents thinks about their official investigation, rather than what the president thinks, the various other that was reporting my that was done. I guess I, guess I believe it. Why dig that? Why, why dig your heels your in there? Because I believe that the obvious public pressure was there, and that makes it the easier decision. It was the easy decision to scapegoat DJ oh, Gertner. Oh, no, I wanted to it ask would the have question been easy for, like, for five minutes, you guys. Right. I'm sorry, Molly. Right. Do we ever think this was the plan all along? That they didn't feel like they had cause to fire him, so they knew that they would reinstate him, and then obviously there'd be this outcry, and then they could let him go. I don't but why would they? Yeah, re- why, what would that serve? So, because they were afraid they couldn't fire him, right? Mm-hmm. They were afraid that they didn't have the cause to be able to fire him. But then, once they had the public outcry behind him, then they were able to. I don't think that get gives you cause. No, that because cause that, means like there's legal cause for you to right. recoup your money. Yep. They could have just as soon said the easier choice by far would have been to say let him go. Right. Which leads so, me to the conclusion that they thought it would have been too expensive. Well, so the easier choice was to come to the conclusion Wallace Lowe, the president, came to. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying it's the easier choice. Yeah. So when somebody, in this mm-hmm. case the Board of Regents, comes to a conclusion that wasn't easy, that wasn't popular, I want to know It may have been more why. affordable. It that may have been more affordable, Max, right? right. I have trouble stomaching uh, that. Yeah, but, but what, hold, hold, on, hold on, Max. Hold on, Max. Thought it was the, right. The point that I'm trying to and make to you, Will, a minute is later, that, listen, wrong? listen, what I'm saying is you're talking about the Board of Regents, and I'm thinking you should be talking more about the president. The president has access to the same information. He oversaw. Listen, they were his investigators as well. But he came but, to a conclusion we all expected. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, excuse me. You could say that, but even though he came to that conclusion, it's still within his right, especially in his position, to draw that conclusion. And the Board of Regents usurped his authority and threatened his job. They made an unpopular decision. To all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. How come you're not asking today, the question about why they threatened the president's job? If he were to let go of the head coach. I have to at least consider that they considered it the correct but position. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. You understand you, what I'm saying? They looked at the report and go, you know what? Public pressure and ease would require us letting Durkin go. But he's not responsible, so let's do the right thing and hold on to him. I have to consider that possibility. And 24 hours later, when public pressure was out of control, and they are a public institution, they go, we better go. No, wait, 24 okay. hours hold later on, doesn't on. apply to him because he was never of the mindset that I Durkin know, should be kept. But it, it is is the Board of Regents' behavior we're trying to explain. But let's, let, let, me, let me get to your way of thinking. I think that there's a flaw, according to the way we've been arguing for a while. I understand you're, you want to stick to the principles. But is it more common for a Board of Regents to do the right thing? I give you that. And base this on principle? Or is it... I give you that. Yeah. Right. So it, it seems like honestly, a financial... Imagine, I'm not trying to be flippant. If a bureaucracy came to a conclusion and it was to do the right thing, I would be considering surprised. it a surprise. So your right. conclusion should be that they Guys, made a financial decision and it turned out to be the wrong one. Great conversation. we got to leave it there. Will, thank you for being thank with you. us again. Feel for the whole McNair family. Absolutely. Yes, we do. He's leading the league in scoring, and his team has the most wins in the association. But find out why Chef Curry is not league MVP. Don't go anywhere. It's first take.